welcome to Chattery's Corner. I am not in my kitchen today, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Grab some food, grab a kitchen, grab whatever you got to make whatever you got to make because today I have for you a real Pennsylvania Dutch recipe. I'm so excited to bring this to you because this is one of my husband's most favorite foods. Whenever the Amish have church, they have a church dinner. And in their church dinner, one of the main things is schnitz boy. Schnitz pie. It is made with apple schnitz, but who in the world, in today's world, even in this most modern Amish kitchen, who in the world makes their own schnitz? They just don't. Well, maybe the ones down yonder do, but not in this kitchen. So, I'm in my friend Ada Ruth's kitchen, and the first thing I gotta do is put on the apron. Ada Ruth, let's get this apron on. <sighs> I gotta put on the apron because you know what? Schnitz boy is just not, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm a little fluffier than Ada. Oh, help! Ooh, poo, poo, poo. <laughs> Oh, I got it on. She's a little skinnier than I am. She hasn't eaten quite as many schnitz pies as I have. But I got my apron on. Now the next thing I got to get on is my Amish hat. Well, now wait. Let me get my hair out of my way here. And we are ready for some schnitz pies. How do we start, Ada Ruth? We're going to put the schnitz filling in the pie crust. This is a pie crust. She makes them herself. They're having church coming up here in a couple of weeks. And when they have church, when the Amish have church in their homes, they feed about 100 to 120 people. Is yeah, that right? That's about right. That's about right. So it takes about how many schnitz pies? 20, 25. 25 schnitz pies. And I've heard from her husband that the men, one pie will feed about four men when they have a baby on their lap and they're feeding the children the schnitz pie. But, ooh, do they like schnitz pie? And my husband, growing up Amish, does he like schnitz pie? You betcha he does. Now we gotta fill this pie crust is ready to go. Now how come you didn't trim the edges off there? Well, we're putting a lid on it. We're putting a pie crust lid on the top. A pie crust lid on top, and then we'll cut it out around. So we're gonna start with the schnitz. Take your pie crust, fill it with schnitz. And the schnitz is made up of, now we've broken this down because her recipe makes 30 pies. Friends, 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 can you imagine feeding that many people with 30 pies? This takes apple butter and applesauce. Apple butter is dried apples, right? That's right. Mushed into like an applesauce consistency. That's right. And if you're looking at this and you're saying, oh, I would love to make this Amish schnitz pie, you go to www.kaufmans fruitfarm.com. They make their own apple butter and they ship Kaufman's Fruit Farm. Look it up. They have the best, the right? Best. The Absolutely. best apple butter in all of the Pennsylvania Dutch country. And they'll ship some to you and you can make your very own schnitz pie. You want to take two and a half teaspoons of tapioca, because the tapioca makes the schnitz pie cuttable and thick and solid, right? Minute Once it's tapioca. baked. Minute tap. That's a good one. Minute, Minute tapioca. tapioca. It's made with apple butter, applesauce, lemon juice, sugar, salt, and some pumpkin pie spice. But I'm going to post the recipe so you'll see it. Okay, so first, are we ready with our schnitz filling? Let me see this. This is how many cups? Three cups. Three cups in a big nine. pie crust, nine inch pie crust. See, now I don't know if you can see, but it has the tapioca in it. And this is a mixture of those spices, some sugar, apple butter, apple sauce, tapioca. And we just what, pour it in here? Pour it in Just here. pour it all in there. Ooh, this is gonna be a fat pie. Right, that looks good. That looks perfect, perfect. Ooh, this pie, I'm telling you, friends, friends. Now, you just smooth it out. Okay. That's good. That looks perfect. Ooh, that is perfect. Now, we're gonna put the top crust on. 
together. And she made a beautiful design. How do, what are you doing next? Well, we're going to wet the uh, okay. out around the crust. So she's seals. wetting this. Oh, so it's the top crust seals. Mm -hmm. So it stays. So does ever the g inside run out? Sometimes. Yes. Yeah, because it's not sealed enough or what? Yeah, that happens or if it's too full. If it's too is this too full? This yeah, looks pretty. That cool. looks good. This looks good. Perfect. Good. Yay. Okay. Now she's taken the oh, she rolled out her top. She you fold it in half. Mm -hmm. It's pretty thick. Is it pretty thick? Yeah. It mm -hmm. feels thicker than the pie crust bottom. Well, it's about the same. About the same consistency as the bottom. And she made a gorgeous design. Do you see that design? She cut it with her knife. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. She cut it with her knife. Oh, that's beautiful. And you just put this on top. And now what do you do? Now you have to press it down press all it, the way around. Press it down all the way around. Not hard or hard or what? Uh, pretty hard. Pretty yeah, hard. Pretty hard. Make that seal. Make it seal. Now you cut. Okay, so that's, do you think that's good enough? Mm -hmm. That's okay, right. so now you're going to cut the ends off. This is how my mom taught me mm -hmm. this, right? That's just right. go like this. Exactly right. You like got this. It. I got it. Yay. Take Perfect. a knife. Just go against the pie pan. Just cut it off. Oh, this pie is beautiful. Now, I have to tell you, her husband told me that, don't you doubt it, my wife has the best schnitz pie in the guns. Gagan. Gagan! My frog had the best schnitz boy and a guns Gagan. I said, was is in Gagan? It's a community. He says his wife has the best schnitz pie in the entire community. And you know what? Somehow, I just believe him. We're going to see in a minute because I'm going to taste test. Now, what do you do? You got to... Pinch it. Yep. Do you, you know do it like this? It. You can do it how you want to. How do you do it? I take one finger and do like that. Okay, so let me hold it up here so they can see how you're doing it. One finger, push it in. So you make your fingers in a V like this and take your other finger and push it in. And you're kind of pressing the crust down. So yeah. is that helped it doesn't run that, over? Yeah, it makes a, keeps the filling inside. Okay. Mm, all the way around yep. and when you have church and you make your own pies you do this to 25 pies 25 pies ah no amish man has come up with a pie pincher thingy well, yet yeah some people use a fork to press it down and just pinch it oh really just mm -hmm. go around with a fork mm -hmm. that's not near as pretty as mm -hmm. this no? no i like this and better. because you're the best pie maker in the guns gingen you do it this way right that's right <laughs> Okay, nicer. almost the whole way around. It does. It looks beautiful. Yep. Now there's a little bit of filling coming out the top there. Is that kind of cool? Now so what do we do? We're going to brush it with egg. That brown is the... Brush it with, with egg. beaten egg. And just brush it on top. That browns the crust. Oh, nice. Nice paintbrush there. Yeah, isn't that Mm, is it just, can you just use any paintbrush? I'm going to say it's Pampered Chef brush. Oh! Ouch. Ouch! Ouch. Well. Prince's House probably has one. Okay. Prince's House has really nice pie plates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Now what are you doing? This is a little bit of crumbs from my pie dough. Just it is just that. the flour just and the lard flour. mixed together. Mm -hmm. And you put some of that on top of here. Mm -hmm. Do I some women just leave it like this and mm -hmm. bake it? Yeah. I like the looks of just a little bit of sprinkle on top. We're going to see how it looks in a minute. But go ahead, sprinkle on top. This is just the crumbs before the water is added to the pie crust? It's the pie dough recipe. Pie dough crumbs without the water. And she just puts them on top. Now what? And then you <gasps> sprinkle it with cinnamon sugar. Stop! I did not know that. Mm -hmm. She's sprinkling it with cinnamon. Yep. Oh, friends, friends, friends. Seriously. <sighs> I can't wait to try this. Does this not look amazing? And you can make your very own. Now, what do we do? It's ready to put it in the oven. It's ready to put in the oven at how many degrees? 350 for one hour. 350 for one hour. Ada Ruth, bake away. Mm -hmm. Okay, friends. 
the countertop has been wiped, the pie has been baked, and they tell me it is best not warm out of the oven. I love warm pie. And I said, oh, I want to eat it warm. And they said, oh, no, no. Her husband said, you don't want to eat it warm. You want to eat it nice and cold. That's when it's the best. So she put it in the refrigerator and refrigerated it. And Ada Ruth, are you going to be getting it out for us? Okay. She's going to get the pie out of the refrigerator. And we're going to taste this. Delicious. <gasps> Look at this! Baked schnitz pie. See the crumbs? You can see a little bit of the sprinkling of the cinnamon sugar on top. Ooh, the crust, you can tell right there where it's brown that the egg made that nice and brown. I'm taking my princess house plate. Pamper Chef might have a brush, but I have a plate. And we are gonna what do I do? Just cut it the whole way through? You can do now, when you're cut. when you're having church we and you're serving one pies, piece at a time. Everybody cuts their own. Everybody cuts their own, so you'll you'll start passing the whole pie, and then I just should go in the middle here. Does everybody know how to cut pies oh. correctly? Yeah. Because see, when you know, uh, sometimes it all depends who you pass it to. They take the whole middle. No. 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 Okay. Okay. That's not allowed. Now let that's not allowed. Let's see if this holds, if the tapioca does what it needed to. Whoa, whoa, that is beautiful. Now, oh, I didn't get all of it. See how that holds its own shape there? And that's what the tapioca does. I missed some of the filling here. With their schnitz pies, the Amish have fresh homemade rolls or bread, butter, butter, and jelly, mm -hmm. homemade jelly and jams. They have a cheese schmear. If you want to know how to make that, I've done a video a while back on how to make that cheese schmear that they have at their churches. It's so good on homemade bread. And then they have a peanut butter smear. What do you call it? Spread. Spread. Oh, that's a nicer word than smear. Okay. But it's a little smeary. It can run through the fingers, right? If it's not made right. If, oh, ooh, mm -hmm. if it's not made right. And then they all have chunks of cheese, maybe bologna or ham, and pickles, red beets, pickle beets, and what else do you have? That's pretty much it. And they all sit down to the table, and the pies get passed, and the bread gets passed, and they help themselves. And like I said, this looks like it could feed about eight women, but probably about four men. Oh, now I was never, did you know I was never a big fan of the schnitz pies? Mm -hmm. So this has to be really good for me to just like make me want to cry. So we're on okay. Well, you are really on a test. You really are. And I want to get the best bite. So I'm, the tip usually is the best, but that looks like too much of the bottom dough. I'm going to get right here where those crumbs are. Ooh, this consistency is nice. Is that how you want it kind of just to be kind of smeary there? Yeah, that's about right. That's about right? It, it'll okay. get a little harder if it's cold. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. That crust is delicious. That's good. That's the way you like it. It's the way I like it. Good. You know what this is screaming out for? My father was raised in the Big Valley where they had bean soup and schnitz boy. That's how I was raised. Mm -hmm. This is screaming for bean soup, yeah. right? <laughs> I didn't think about making you bean soup to eat. You, you did, did think about it? No, I didn't. You didn't think yeah, about I it. I you know, for others, it screams for a cup of coffee. What does it scream for you? When Not you a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. This is absolutely delicious. Simple to make. You can make your own Amish schnitz boy. Mmm. Mmm. Don't forget www.hoffmansfruitfarm.com. Thank you for joining me and thank you, Ada Ruth, for letting me have your kitchen and your schnitz boy recipe. This has been a delightful day. Hey, I'll see you.